Hey everyone, it's time for another installment of everyone's least favorite deflating atheism video series, Consumerist Piglet Clothing Haul. Now, this looks like a lot of clothes, but these packages have been accumulating for the past year. In the years since I had my last clothing haul, these packages have just been building up and up in my bedroom, and so I am going to uh, uh, open them up for you today, and uh, after like the end of the year sales, I'm done. It, it would be completely ridiculous for me to buy any more clothes for like the next five years. And I should also point out that if this seems wasteful, like, I'm a pretty savvy shopper and like most of these clothes were bought for like 50% off. So, so at least 20% off with, uh, with one qualified exception. So let's just start uh, digging into this uh, indiscriminately. It's been so long since I bought these things, I don't even remember what they are. This is Anthony Morato. This is a patterned t-shirt. And uh, I think that will look good under the leather jacket I bought that I actually hauled last time I did one of these things. Uh, what are these? These are pajama bottoms. I don't really need to take these out of the package. Calvin Klein pajama bottoms. This is something that's obviously out of season. This is a polo shirt. Don't normally wear polo shirts, but, but might change it up. Calvin Klein jeans. I like the single color here. Okay, this is... Normally I don't wear like branded stuff or stuff that's like really identifiable or, or brand whorish. But this is obviously Calme de Garçon, a little uh, play thing with the, with the hearts. Uh, another, no, this is, this is a sweatshirt, and again, this is not like hugely expensive, well, not on sale, but it is, it is bougie AF. Every day is Christmas when you're me, yeah. Okay, this is Polo Ralph Lauren, again, not something I typically wear, but this is just like so, so like bougie, I don't know, it's cool. It makes a statement, even though it's not like what I would typically wear. Oh. T-shirt, Tommy Hilfiger, very 80s. Like, very like late 80s, like Saved by the Bell. There's a, a wide neck T-shirt. I don't even remember. I don't even remember who makes these things. It's been so long since I bought them. Jack and Jones. I don't even know what that says. I'm probably mind my company when I'm wearing that. Probably not not good for every possible occasion. Oh, a scarf. I have enough scarves, which I I barely ever wear, because I mostly go to like. Pretty, pretty, well, rarely wear scarves. This is a Versace collection. I don't know if you can see the purple and black. It's kind of reflective purple, kind of metallic purple. Uh, we're almost halfway through. No, we're not even halfway through. Another polo. Yep, another Ralph Lauren polo. This is a weird, like, knitted uh, texture to this. I can see right through it. Oh. Another, another thing bought for super cheap. Super sale. Not really wild about this, but it was part of, part of an extra thing I had to buy to get free shipping. It's a, a Michael Kors t-shirt with a kind of metallic metallic lettering on top of it. Uh, a tie. I, I, I'm not even going to take this out of the packaging. This is Versace collection. And as you can see, it's, it's metallic blue and black. I don't know if you're seeing any of this. Uh, this is a bracelet. 
uh, metallic balls, little beaded metallic bracelet. These are cufflinks. I already have a pair of cufflinks, now I have another pair of cufflinks, which I'll very, very, very rarely uh, wear. These have little crosses on them. What's this? Uh, this is a bracelet. It has little uh, religious icons on it. There's no way you'll be able to see that. Hugo Boss Pocket Square. I have all this stuff for like formal occasions where I'll never find myself, but if, if that formal occasion ever comes by, I'll, I'll be prepared for sure. Uh, this is a, like another thing I had like a, a gift certificate to Amazon and I had to buy something. And so this is a Tiffany & Company. It seems like it should be very expensive, but I actually got it for very cheaply. A Tiffany & Company a uh, glasses case, but there's no glasses, it's just a glasses case. But yeah, that's, that's, I'll impress people by, by making them think that I have Tiffany glasses, but that's only a glasses case. Also, maybe a little girly, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, now we're halfway through. This is a hat, like, like, my problem is I have a gigantic, gigantic head. So like no hats fit me, but in the summer I kind of wanted like a straw hat or something just to keep the sun off my face. So I got this. It's okay. I feel like it's almost too small. It's it's XXL. Yeah, it's XXL. Uh, it's like a safari hat. So it's not not quite a fedora, but but it almost kind of reminds me of uh, what's it like. John, what, John Loftus or something, where he has a safari hat, so I don't know if that's a good thing to look like. <laughs> well, I take it from John Loftus. This is something I actually paid retail for, but it's, it's a it's a handmade cross uh, I bought from an artisan at the, at the local uh, Greek festival. I'm not Greek Orthodox, or always those questions. They have a Greek festival. It's very popular around here in Greensboro, and this is a beautifully crafted crafted cross. I'll put some inserts in that. And you can see it has a I don't know what this what this kind of metallic material is, but it has little little win, you know, windows here where it has uh, uh, soil from Jerusalem in this. So this is gorgeous and this is going to be put up on the wall over there. But yeah, this is something I paid paid full price for, but it, it was handmade by an artisan in Jerusalem. So, that's something uh, uh, a little more unique than these, than these mass-produced things. This is a sweater with, from who makes this? Scotch and soda. So yeah, I like that. This will look good with a scarf. Quite like that. Okay, this is the dumbest purchase I've ever made. Uh, this is Vetement, I think that's how you pronounce it, Vetement Socks, which is a total, total brand whore, total hype beast garbage. But again, I got it on sale. It's, it's a Vetement sla uh, collaboration with Tommy Hilfiger. And so they're, they're stupidly expensive socks, but again, I got it on sale. And now we're going from socks to underwear. This is Kenneth Cole Reaction, who's, I, I, this is like teal, I'm not gonna open this up, but this is like teal underwear, and here you have a guy who looks exactly like me, you could, you could believe that. So, cool looking underwear. Wow. This is gym clothes. Since there's no need for me to be the worst dressed guy at the gym, I finally, well at least in the winter, because I, no, I normally just go in my, in my workout shorts. But yeah, these are workout pants with a kind of abstracted uh, uh, leopard print or something, which seems vaguely ridiculous for a grown man to wear. But again, got it for cheap. This is the, the 
complimentary piece, and I have, I have shoes to show you guys. I'm getting exhausted from doing this haul. This is a jacket with the, with the abstracted tiger cheetah print. So it's, it's, a, it's a little twin set here. Uh, this is a Prada wallet. I've had this for a few months, but I've been holding off on using it since the wallet I have still has a few good weeks left in it, at least. But yes, like the looks of this. Again, I don't normally go for like the branded stuff too much, but, but I really like the way this looked. And it seems dear, but again, again, I got on sale. And finally, uh, I've been like liking everything Reebok's been doing recently. So uh, uh, I got these sneakers, like the little mint stripe on these, and some like uh, dad grilling uh, hamburgers, white sneakers, which you, you kind of need. So more white Reeboks. And I believe that is it. So I hope you enjoy this clothing haul. Like I said, uh, I'm probably not going to be buying uh, many more clothes for, for quite a while. And uh, I hope you enjoy this. And uh, there will be more Deflating Atheism content coming soon. I've had this, some uh, kind of disturbances in my life and some rearrangements. And it's made it difficult to produce content. But uh, I'll be back making deflate, regular Deflating Atheism videos very soon. Uh, thank you all and may you have a Merry Christmas.